Hello, welcome to lesson 11 of Beginner's Blues Boogie Woogie Piano Tutorials. In this lesson we're going to learn a piece that incorporates various elements from lessons 1 to 10. Um, and so hopefully you'll enjoy playing something that's full of variety and it's not just one riff repeated throughout. Um, again, we're using the same um, C, F, G pattern. This time we're going from the C here though down. And it gives it a fuller range of um, notes and sounds. Um, but I'll play it first and then talk about the various elements. So it's going to sound like this. Lots of different elements and we'll just you know go through it step by step like the previous videos so just looking at the, the different elements that are pulled together from the the various lessons that we've learned you know you've got that starting with that got that little run that we learned before then we've you'll recognize that dominant seventh chord those four four note dominant seventh chords that we learned in a previous lesson we have our usual runs uh, we've got trills, uh, we've got our, um, you know, at the end, with well, that's the cat C, we've got our, the full notes of the C blues scale riff that we learned again. So, you know, it's just pulling together all those different things and you will just get to instinctively draw those from your memory when you're playing. So I really encourage you after you've learned this to just, just play your left hand and then just let your right hand flow and just go with it, add lab, pull those different bits in and you'll find yourself creating your own blues pieces very quickly. Um, so just step by step then talking about the going through that piece. So we're starting in, in the C position but we start with a little run up. So E flat, E, G, A and then we're straight into the, a four note C chord so with the left hand. So it's now you could do the dominant seventh, which is G, E, G, B flat C. Uh, but I like the sound of the E, G, A, C. So. Okay. And then it goes to the F position. Which is E flat, G, A, C. So all you're doing is changing that A to an E flat. Okay, back to the wee run, E flat, E, G, A. And then up to your C position again. And it's that downwards riff, so G and it B flat, F and A, slide off the E flat onto the E and the G. Okay, so C position and then it's E flat to E flat, E flat to E and G, C, F and A, up to trill on the G and the B flat. Okay. Okay, so practicing that first part slowly then. Okay, for part two then, we're back down to the F position. And it's this downwards riff again that we learned before, so. So you hit that first note on the left hand, and it's C and E flat. B flat and D, slide from the A flat onto A and C, down to the F. And then this little riff that we learned in one of the previous lessons, so it's E flat E, F, F sharp G. That's the kind of timing. And then finishes on the E flat and E. So E flat E, 
F, F sharp, G, E flat, E, but watch the timing. So the first beat in the, le in the left hand, that F, then you come in with the E flat, so. So all together, that's that there F part is, so first beat in the left hand. So with the left hand now. Then it's back to the C. And it's that usual downwards riff, so. So I hit the first note in the left hand, then G and B flat, F and A, E flat onto the E and the G, down to the C. And that second little part is slide from the E flat onto the E and the G, up to the F and the A, back to the same slide off the E flat onto the E and the G. Okay, so playing those first two parts together then, kind of slowly. The last part then is onto the G position to the F position, and finishing in C. So in the G, it's a trill. Um, hopefully, you can see that F on the right hand side of the video. So it's D and F, straight trill. Then it down to the F position. Against that downwards riff with just a slight change at the end, so it's C and E flat. B flat and D, slide from the A flat onto A and C, F. Now before we just went back to the F, but we're going to go to E flat and a C. Just creates more of a run, so more of a run back into the C. So trill on the G. So hit that first note in the F, and then come in with the C and the E flat. Staccato C, which is just a C and a G, so hit that staccato and it's a full downwards run of the notes of the C blues scale. Okay, C, B flat, G, F sharp, F, E flat, C, then slide from the E flat to the E. Notice that kind of downward walk on time, timing, so. And the very final thing. Um, is we haven't done before and uh, just kind of new we end in our turn around so it's the same on the if you can do the octave on the left hand it sounds better so low F hopefully you can see that on the left hand side of the video so, so it's just F F sharp G and the same on the right hand F F sharp G so once you slide off that Okay, so let's play that third part slowly then all together. So trill on the G. You got faster then. Okay. So that's it, you've learned in three parts. Let's just play the whole thing through slowly once again and then once up the speed. Um, okay, so slowly first of all.
Okay, I'm finally up the tempo. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed that lesson. You've incorporated a dominant seventh, full note chords, little runs downwards riff, the normal riff, trills, the full C note, C blues scale, uh, little riff, um, you know, you incorporate everything, so if you can play that, um, you're doing really, really well, and I hope you've enjoyed learning these lessons, and you can see how pulling all elements together um, just can create a really cool little blues piece. Uh, so as I said before, keep practicing, just use that left hand, and just now try and make up blues pieces yourself yourself using those different elements. The next few lessons we're going to start looking at variations in the left hand. Um, so you'll be happy that we're not going to be doing just that um, for the next few lessons. But uh, yeah, keep learning, have fun. If you like this, subscribe, comment. Um, any feedback's always appreciated. Thanks. Bye.